In this video, we're going to see how to use the DeepSeek API and interact with it using the Python. Here you can see we are getting the DeepSeek response via the Python using the API provided by the DeepSeek. So let us see how to get this DeepSeek API and interact with it using Python. Let's get started. For this, just open your browser and go to the website called DeepSeek.com. You can see that at the top, they said DeepSeek is an open source and rivaling to OpenAI's model called O1. O1 is a paid use model. But DeepSeq, it is an open source and free model. So before we proceed ahead, I have already made a video about how you can install the DeepSeq in Linux or in Windows. So just go to my channel and watch that video first. Then you can continue watching this video. So this is the video that I was talking about. First watch this video so that you can understand how we can install the DeepSeq into our Linux machine or Windows machine. Then only you can understand what we are talking here. So make sure you watch that video first, then we can be able to move ahead with this video. After you have watched that, if you go to the DeepSeq website at the top, uh, right hand side you can see option called the API platform. If you click on that, we will get a message like our website is currently under maintenance. Don't worry, we will get the DeepSeq API through a third party called the Open Router. Just open a new tab and type Open Router. Here you can see, if you click on the first uh, result, this is the Open Router API. You can see that we got the DeepSeq API here. And below that, they will provide all the latest A that is trending in this week. So just click on this DeepSeq A R1 now. You can see that at the last two option we can have a API there. You can see that they are the providers for DeepSeq R1. It is a free. To get the API, just click on this API section. Or if you want to see what are the versions are released by this open router, you can do that. But we're gonna create the API. So for that, just click on the API and you can see that they provided the documentation of how you can interact with the DeepSeq using this API key. You need to create the API key first. For that, just click on create API key. It will ask us to create the account and open router. Click on Google to continue with this Google account. So I'm gonna select my Google account. Click on continue now. Now our open router account has been created successfully. So just agree with this and click on continue. You can see that we have an option called create key, click on that. Just give your name for your API key. In this case, I'm going to type DeepSeq API tutorial. I'm going to click on create button now. You can see that now our API key has been created successfully. Just copy this and paste it in notepad. We will need this later in this video. So I'm going to copy this API key now. So after you have the API key, we need a, if you go to the documentation, you can see that now our API key has been created successfully. After you have created the API key, go to the documentation on the top right hand side. You can see that they provide the detailed documentation on how we can interact with this DeepSeq API using this Python. And they also provide the option called the TypeScript. If you want to interact with it using the TypeScript, you can follow the here. But we will stick with the Python now. To interact with DeepSeq using the Python, we need a library called the OpenAI. So we will have to install the library. Open your command prompt on Win. If you are using Windows, open your command prompt. I am using Linux, so let me open up my terminal and type the following commands: pip install OpenAI. So using this library only, we can be able to interact with the DeepSeq API. Now the library has been installed successfully. Let me close this one. I am going to create a project folder now. So let me go to the desktop and I am going to create a website folder called the DeepSeq tutorial. So let's create this folder and I'm going to open this folder in the Visual Studio Code. So let me open this folder in the Visual Studio Code. So now we have opened this folder in the Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create a file called the main.py. So we have this Python file, right? So let's import the library that we have installed now. So from OpenAI, we're going to import the OpenAI class. From OpenAI, we're going to import the OpenAI class. Next, we need to create a client. That means we have to authenticate that this API is actually belong to us. To do that, client equal to open AI inside this pass your API key now. API key equal to just paste the key that you have copied earlier. Next, we need to pass a base URL. To get the base URL, so base URL equal to just go to the uh, open router documentation. If you go to the documentation, you can see that they provided your base URL. Copy this base URL. So let me copy this and paste it in the Python file. So this is our base URL. Now we have uh, connected with the uh, DeepSeq API. We can create the chat now. Chat equal to 
client dot dot completions dot create so we're gonna create a chat now so inside this we need to pass the model what model we are using the model we are using is the deep seek r1 7 billion parameter so deep seek slash deep seek r1 so now we have mentioned the model right next we need to mention the prompt so we have to provide the prompt so that we can get the response so messages equal to this will be a list so inside this list we will provide the user role on the prompt now this will be role equal to user and content so provide your prompt here enter the question that you wanna ask to deep seek here so i'm gonna ask a question like what is the meaning of the essay so this is the prompt that i'm gonna ask to the deep seek so let us see what response we will get from the deep seek Finally, we can print the chat. So let me save this Python script and run the file now. So when you run this, you can see that we get a huge number of responses. Here you can see in this response, we got this output here also. This is a dictionary. So we'll have to extract this output only. So you can see that inside this content, our response is located. So inside this choice key, we have the message. And inside this message, we have the content. So we will have to extract that. So cha chat dot choices, we're gonna select the first response that is the zero in the index. And inside the message, you can see that inside the message only we have the content. So we will have to select that. So choices of zero dot message and inside this message we have the content. So let's save this file and run this now. So this time we will get the response only. We don't get any keys, we only get the response now. So let me run this Python script again. So let me clear the screen and run this one more time. You can see that now we get the response only. We don't get any extra keys. So this is the response that we got for the uh, question that we asked. What is the meaning of DSA? You can see that the acronym DSA can have different meanings depending on the context. So DSA can stand for data structure and algorithm. We can also stand for digital service act or it can be data school admission. So there are different acronyms available for the DSA. So this is the response that we get for the prompt. What is the meaning of DSA? So if you want to change this prompt, you can do that. Or if you want to take this prompt from the user, you can do also do that by using a variable. Or if you want to build a chatbot using this tipsy API, you can use a while loop on this content and you can keep on asking the question and that DeepSeq will reply with the prompt that, that you gave to DeepSeq. So this is the one way of interact within the DeepSeq using the OpenAI library. Or another way is that you can directly uh, get the response using the built-in libraries. That is the request one. You can see that using the open router directly. So further, we'll have to install the request library. So the request is installed in most of the systems. If you don't have the request, just type pip install request. This will install the request library. So after you have installed the request library, so let me copy this code and let's open up a PS code and let's create a new Python script now. So let me create a new Python file. The file name will be direct.pi.py. So let's paste the code that we have copied now. So we don't need these two lines. We can remove them safely. And paste your API key now. So let me copy my API key and paste it here that's it and we need to change the model right and we can also be able to change the prompt so for the prompt we're gonna ask a question like explain merge sort in simple terms so this is the prompt that we're gonna ask to the deep seek so now we are using the uh, deep seek api directly so we don't using the open ai library we are using the deep seek api directly to this uh, url here using the request library. Let's change the model now. The model we're gonna use is the DeepSeq. The same model that we have used previously. DeepSeq and slash DeepSeq R1 and we're gonna use the free model. So that's it. So let's remove this comment now. And finally we can print the response. So we can print this response now. So print a response. That's it. So let's save this Python script. And let's click on this run button now. You can see that we got the response 
object and the set as token is the 200. When we get the set as code 200, that means we got the response successfully. So we will have to extract the response, right? So if response the status code equal to 200, so we're gonna convert the response into a JSON form. Result equal to response on JSON. So this will convert the response into a JSON object. And finally, we can print the result. Print the result. But if you want to extract the messages directly, we can do the similar step that we have do earlier. That is result of choices and select the first index. And inside the message, we have the content. So this is what we have done in the uh, open a library also if you go to the first file you can see that so this is chat dot choices of zero this is what we are doing here we are extracting the response only without any uh, keys so if the status code is not 200 we're gonna print a message like error so print of error occur so let's save this file and and this python script now so you can see that we get a error like key error there is no choices so for now we're gonna comment this print statement and just print the uh, result only we don't want to uh, see the key directly for this for now just print the result and after we get the lots of keys and we're gonna assign the response after that so let me print the result only and let's save this python script and run it now you can see that now we got the response in the key and values you can see that we have the choices right this is what we have done earlier so this will be message not messages so we have the include the yes that's why we get the error like key error so let me uncomment this so let's rerun this python script now you can see that now we got the response fully we don't get any key and values we get the response plainly you can see that we have the merge or explanation here Merge sort is very simply. So this is the response that we got for the merge sort. And again, I'm telling you, you can change the prompt if you want, or if you want to get the prompt from the user, you can do that by using the input function. So this is another way of uh, interact with the deep sea using the API. And the third way of doing that is that if you have your Volama, you can use the uh, Volama software to download the deep sea locally, and you can interact with it using the Volama Python. So that's why I tell you to watch the previous video that I have uploaded. In the previous video, I have mentioned that how you can install Libsyc locally, either in Linux or Windows. So for that, we need to download the Volama Python. Here you can see we have the Volama Python. Just open this and download this Volama Python model. You can see that we have the same uh, documentation here. You can just copy this and start the Volama server and install the Volama locally. And you can interact with this using this uh, Python uh, documentation here. Just uh, change this model here instead of this mistral model change this to deep sea carbon so before you continue with that you'll have to download the deep sea so let me show you quickly how you can download the deep sea in volama just open up a new tab and type volama download so just select this and click on deep sea carbon here you can see we have the uh, deep sea models here there are six different versions select your parameters and choose any one of them and just copy this and open your terminal you can see that i have already volama installed so let me show you volama list so let's start the volama server now volama so so now the volama server has been started successfully if you use the command volama list you can see that i have already installed the deep seek in this volama so i have installed the deep seek carbon that is the 7 billion parameter and the size of this is the 4.7 gp so make sure you download the Volama software and the DeepSeq model. Then you can create the Python script and paste the code that you can see in this documentation. So this is another way of interacting with the DeepSeq using the Python. So this is for this video and I will continue in the next one.